In this problem, we're going to get a little practice working with some of the logical connectives that we have introduced, and we are going to write logical expressions for some English sentences. So we're going to take some English sentences and convert them into kind of mathematical equations using some of the things that we've learned so far. For instance, let's take this English sentence. Alice and Bob are both college students, and so let's translate this into a logical expression. So one of the things you have to do when you're working this type of problem is you have to be very careful in how you introduce and define the symbols you're going to work with. In this case we have Alice and Bob are both college students. That's the English sentence we want to represent as symbols. So we're going to define some quantities and we're going to define the symbol A as the logical statement Alice is a college student. And we're going to define the symbol B as the statement Bob is a college student. And doing this is important, and doing it correctly is important. These logical statements here, that's what they are. They're logical statements, and these have to be able to evaluate to either a true or a false. So letting A equal Alice is a college student, that's either a true statement or, or it's a false statement, but it's, it's one or the other. If we just defined A equals Alice, that would not be correct because the statement Alice isn't something that evaluates to true or false. Okay. Same thing for B equals Bob. Bob is a college student. That is something that is either true or false. It's a logical statement. If we just defined B equals Bob, or we just defined B as Bob college student, that, that even itself doesn't make a lot of sense. So make sure you write something out that evaluates to either a true or false statement. So that's what we're going to define for this problem. And like I said, these are logical statements because they evaluate to either true or false. They're declarative sentences that are true or false. That's the definition of a logical statement. So usually when people make mistakes on this type of problem, they either, one, fail to define anything at all, or they define something that isn't a declarative sentence that is true or false. So just make sure you do that and take the time to write that out. So let's go ahead and use these definitions of A and B and actually write out a logical expression for this sentence. So we have Alice and Bob are both college students. So we can write A and then the, the logical symbol and. This is the and symbol. So A and B. This would represent Alice and Bob are both college students. If we read this, we see Alice is a college student and Bob is a college student. That is synonymous with Alice and Bob are both college students. So that is pretty simple to do once you have properly defined A and B. Let's do a few, few other ones. What about the English sentence, neither Alice or Bob are college students? Well, we're going to go ahead and use our symbols A and B, but we're going to have to use the negation of them in this problem. So what does it mean for not A? Originally, we had that A was defined as Alice is a college student, so not A, where this is our not symbol, is Alice is not a college student, and similarly, not B, is Bob is not a college student. So given A and B defined as we did originally, not A and not B mean these things. And we can easily write down an expression for the sentence, neither Alice or Bob are college students. So that would be not A and not B. So if we just look at this expression down here, we would say Alice is not a college student and Bob is not a college student, which is equivalent to neither Alice or Bob are college students. When you just look at the symbols, you probably would not write down this original sentence, but their meaning is exactly the same. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to write down symbols that have a meaning equivalent to our original English sentence. Okay, let's do another one. So this English sentence is either Alice or Bob is a college student, but not both of them. So either Alice is a college student or Bob is a college student, but not both of them. So how can we do that? So if in one case we could have Alice being a college student and Bob not being a college student, right? So one way we could have this be true is A and not B. Because if just looking at this right here, we would read that as Alice is a college student and Bob is not a college student. Okay, I'm going to put those in parentheses because the other case we need to consider is kind of the reverse of this. Or not A and B. This right here means Alice is not a college student and Bob is a college student. Okay. 
So either Alice or Bob is a college student, but not both of them can be represented by this logical expression right here. Okay. So these problems are not that difficult. The key thing is just when up front when you define your symbols, in this case they were the symbols A and B, just make sure you write them as logical statements, you know, declarative sentences that are either true or false, and then writing out logical expressions that mean the same thing as the English sentence is pretty straightforward.